during a bike ride last week, I came across a really incredible yard or, or and house where uh, a lady is growing small volume commercial plant production and her entire yard is pretty much in food. And since I'm all about growing all your own food and I like an organic natural approach and because I think it's a great idea to produce um, plants for, for sale at your own home or doing s small extra things to make extra money and this looks like a pretty cool deal as you'll see um, I stopped and talked to the lady she was not willing to be on screen she didn't speak English very well but uh, she was willing to let me videotape it and explain things to me so that I could tell you what's going on here so uh, let's proceed with a look at her wonderful yard so what she's done in her yard here as you can see everything's covered with black visqueen and she has a drip line system to these pots uh, that have blueberries and yep. and honeyberries. These are the pots. And she she cuts the bottoms out of the pots so that it's easy to water and to contain the water that comes from her drip feed system, and it's easier to fertilize just them. And but the worms can still come up. It's all you know nice rich organic stuff. Um, and she's taken advantage of every growing space. She's really turned her her whole front yard into a garden, into a food production. And, and, I don't know, is any of this, com none of this is commercially, don't sell the produce, this is just for you? No, uh, yeah, just for us. So, she has an abundance of, of plants here, and part of her, of what she grows, goes to charities each year. So, uh, this is a very healthy, natural, uh, wonderful environment that she's created growing her own food here. So she makes a compost tea or a, uh, uh, a natural fertilizer by dropping chicken manure and diluting it in water and then putting it in, uh, where's this little water bottle she were using? She puts them in uh, these bottles with uh, pull tops and then just drizzles it onto the, the plants to water them, which I think is a a cool little trick. As you can see, she's got several carts and since she grows all of her stuff organic, she has a regular clientele that comes and buys stuff from her every year for their gardens. So these are Costco racks that uh, she set up and she's got a, a four foot fluorescent over each tray. Yeah you can see yep. so and there's the thing do you hook them up to a timer mm, no mostly all night okay so on one of these Costco racks um, she took a four foot rack and extended it with PVC pipe uh, to make a, a custom top another cool little detail of this really wonderful little uh, place and she sells uh, most of her uh, plants on uh, to individuals who, who want organic plants and they're priced competitively with uh, the local stores a little bit higher than the local stores because hers are all organic but you know even at uh, if it was three dollars a piece that you can see there's quite a bit of change in this so there are a lot of details uh, about how this is being done that I think are important to note. If you look closely here, uh, between the trays, there's a garbage bag that's to retain water so that things don't dry out, so that the stuff that you water, if you put a little bit too much on one pot, it's collected. But she's just using, you know, commercially available uh, perforated trays. So here we have beds in various uh, stages of development. Um, this is covered with grass as a mulch. It looks like they're laying a uh, drip line uh, water system for this and then I assume you're going to grow or put some soil over that? Like, or we're going to remove them, um, you know, re um, add fertilizer, you know, um, we have the till. Little tiller? Yeah, that will, you know, tilt it a couple of times and then re-put the 
their clients again. Ah, okay. So she goes to a, a local organic place and picks up chicken manure and then composts it. Uh, so all of these containers are full of uh, chicken in various stages of decomposition. And I take it this, is this the final stage? Or oh. no, that's straw. Horse manure. Yep, and yep. then current. Yep. And you can see all along the walkway, there's uh, <laughs> seed starting beds. And so you these can are like herbs, right. uh, radishes, yeah. and onion on the, right. the edge. Well, the, the bed itself, we call those uh, uh, seed starting beds, so you can start things early. And instead of plastic, she's got ground cloth, white ground cloth. It's a frost cover. It's a frost cover. Right, right. A lot of people would use plastic, but that's a, an interesting alternative. She decided to try it this year. It looks like it worked pretty good. We had a pretty mild spring, though. So here in the back is the uh, is the greenhouse and more area for preparing things. Uh, this is their personal vegetable garden. Uh, lots of greens, spinach, radishes, carrots. Yeah. So in the greenhouses you can see they have a lot of tomatoes and they're planning on growing a lot of these themselves. I assume you're selling quite a few being as I see them all marked. Do you raise from seed? Yes, yeah, she makes her own seed. Ah, okay. So there you have a great uh, place uh, where she's growing a lot of the, her own food for her family and producing organic uh, crops for people to purchase to, to grow for their yards to generate income. Um, I think this is a really great model for people to emulate and uh, hopefully a little later in the season, she's, I, she's invited me back to come later in the season when the yard is more fully developed like I said they're preparing some of the beds, they're going to plant tomatoes and a lot of other things in some of those beds that were in preparation and she'd like me to come back and see the rest of that and so I may do a follow-up video. Anyway, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel and watch for updates.